back to a, another Let's Play with Kush in Imperator Rome. If you hear any fun sounds in the background, that's going to be my son, who just discovered World of Warships for the PC. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, if you hear him in the background, that's what it is. But I do need to get this video recorded, so we're going to go at it. All right, so last time we left off, I think we uh, just conquered another kingdom right down here. And if I remember correctly, this guy just lost the battle he was in, so he's going to march all the way back to our home provinces. So at this point, we're at the start of a new video where we need to consolidate. So let's kick it off. Let's kick it off. I have yet to get any comments in any of my videos. So I can't name anybody in... Or name an army after them. So that's going to have to wait. Our next course of action, our goal for this stream, I think, will be to take on... Hmm, this only draws one... I think we're going to take on Guarnia, or Guanara down here. I think this will be our best, because we can just kind of march right on around. I think that's what we're going to what we're gonna do. But unless we're in a true snow, nope, we are. That's going to also give us some... Of course, we'll lose stability. Military prevention, market build costs. We're going to start building up here. I think down here too, if we look, we have Papyrus, which is a great, uh, really good uh, for the game. We've got, we can get our hands on some elephants. Um, we have a lot of earthenware down here, so we're, we're good for trade goods, I think. And it'll be nice on our fourth video, I think we'll be able to get some access to the sea. The moments our people are building up. Let's see. Let's go to economy. We're not at war, so we can lower our fort and maintenance and army maintenance down. That'll allow us to get a little bit more money. And we need to get some marketplaces built. Uh, in the capital, of course. Get our marketplaces going. There we go. Four marketplaces. That'll help. Trade routes. Thankfully, Nefakara Alaris seems to be in remission from her previous ailment. Doctors are overrated anyway. I don't remember what he had. You know, that was a week ago. That's the problem with it. Guys, don't be too loud, buddy. Let me get my recording in. Okay, let's see. Alright, let's speed it up even more. That way we let our situation rebound. Our aggressive expansion needs to drop. So we got a banquet opportunity here um we're just gonna ignore it more trade which is outstanding speaking of trade do we have anywhere that we can trade marketplaces are built it's gonna help immensely so drop our aggressive expansion They only have five cohorts. Their allies have 11 cohorts. So that's 16 cohorts that we have to deal with. We'll just have to maintain that. Oop. We lose money at any price for the goddess of Isis. Our high priest, Hers uh, Hersiotof Aloris, 
are seeking funds for the construction of a new temple in Mero, dedicated to the great goddess Isis herself. Though he has not asked us specifically, this is an opportunity for us to secure the loyalty of the high priest and show a philanthropic, co philanthropic qualities as a leader. I always say th uh, philanthropist and not throw philanthropic. Um, he's already pretty loyal. I don't really want to give up. We can't afford to give up 234 in funds as it is right now. Um, what do we need to build? Uh, we need... Oh, no, that's not the one I wanted. Well, dag nab it. My finger twitched and I accidentally clicked the wrong one. Select this group. Where do we want them to march to, right? Let's move them to Shira. Actually, hold on. You stop here. You stay there. Uh, you're pretty loyal and you're good. So we, can we build roads yet? We cannot. I was hoping we could build roads by now. No oh, durations. I wanted to build a road all the way down here since we have a pretty sh straight and narrow path that we can walk. It's a huge map area. Um, <laughs> how are we doing on loyalty? Everybody's pretty loyal. Favors Let's see, Kush loses five legitimacy. Um, we'll do that. So we don't have any loyalty issues either. Not too bad. Most of our trade income is coming from the person that we're about ready to attack. Spears of Dawn, a herald has delivered word that the rival brothers Neferkiri and Osorica secretly arranged a duel with the help of a partisan friend. This is how real kings are made. Um, you are brothers by the gods. Um, hmm. Let's see. This is our one that we are potentially favoring. He doesn't have any martial ability. Primary heir. Your brothers. That's what we'll do. Our primary heir is a hell of a general. We're having the Moses effect down here. The rivalry of the brothers, Nefakara and Osorkon, has finally led to drastic actions. Infuriated by the audacity of his brother and turning their mutual peers against him, Nefakari approached Osorkon in the form of a broad daylight wielding a dagger. There was a brief struggle between the two before the friends of Osorkon intervened and dragged the brothers apart. Osorkon was left with a significant wound, but survived. Um, we'll do that. Crafty, I like that guy. Oratory advances. These two buried the hatchets. The bitter rivalry between the two brothers has finally abated. It seems that they have been much worn out by the constant scrapping and have taken the wizened advice that fraternal rivalry can only lead to tragedy to the heart. Tra can lead to tragedy to heart. Tragedy to the heart, okay. 
Thank the gods they put this to bed before anyone did something they might live to regret. Encourage peace. Or... Uh, stop seeing Orson as a rival. Kush gains five legitimacy. Um, let's do that. Let's get our legitimacy up. All right, our armies are in position. Oh, almost all our armies are in position. After spending some time in the deep melancholic depression, Sorkon has emerged, finally able to laugh and act as his old self. It is good to have him back. Whatever. He is not my favorite son. Trade! Our manpower is still trying to climb up for that last war. Let's see if we can change something with lulls, maybe. Uh, it has reached our ears that Nefakara Aloris, a child of the heir of the Idi Osorkon, has started to develop a jealous hatred view of his half brother Osorkon Aloris. The rivalry seems to stem from the firm's worry that her children from the more recent marriage. Jesus, crime any of these two. I mean, it is one thing after another in my kingdom. Everybody gets a job. Everybody gets a job. Everybody's loyalty goes up too. We are still churning out laws. Let's check out our laws. Government. Offices. It's fine. Laws. Hmm. Taxation. Simple land tithing. Capitalization tax. National premium and happiness drops, but national tax goes up. Infrastructure policy. Population growth goes up. Build costs increases. Loyalty. Um, hmm. Let us change that law. There we go. Our stability is apparently dropping like crazy <clears throat> for whatever reason We've got a lot of craziness going on uh, money all right let's go back to laws okay. what are the laws can we change religious reform national unrest is down convert pops decreases uh, no. No, we're not gonna miss that. National tax drops. Pirate fleet maintenance. Uh, we don't have, we can't change any of that either. All right, domestic laws. National citizen happiness. Commercial advances. Siege, fort defense, defense, noble tribesman outputs, wrong culture happiness, national slave output. Alright, back to it. I think domestic laws is where we're going to be able to. Or not. Contract laws then. National Freeman Happiness five. <laughs> oh, we do that again. Then our, our happiness are gonna national commerce income up, but monthly governor. Uh, 
governor loyalty drops, the income goes up. That's what we'll do, I think. Hot whispers in the dark. The greatest threat to any nation comes not from without, but from within. The constant infighting between those two who would name themselves heirs continue can consume countless... Oh, God, Lord Almighty. Pay to have him closely observed. Start to plot event chain. Start to plot event chain. Oh my lord. This is all going to be one plot after another after another going on here. Here we go. Teos Aloris has been spending increased quantities of time. It's troubling. No action to be taken. We can kick this person out of the plot. We'll do that. Maybe we can deal with that. Now, can we get back to what we want to do? Uh, enact public notaries. Oh. Our civility keeps dropping like crazy. Oh my lord. Alright, so loyalty gain chances decrease, threshold for civil war. Alright, we need to stop doing stuff and work on our notoriety going up. Let us sacrifice some more pickies. Piggy kills. Kill the piggies. Alright, let's build some more marketplaces. Omen, Fort Defense, no, no. Where is Citizen Output? National Freeman Output? Oh. I don't have one that's going to give me an increase in manpower. Ooh, ruler popularity. More marketplaces built. Everywhere gets a marketplace. I'll tell you what, if I have to start a war, it's going to cost me dearly. I can't seem to get my manpower to go back. For our next go round, we're going to increase our manpower. Instead of spending money on marketplaces, we're going to invest in manpower recovery. We may not get to that war that I want to get to so badly. Oh, so renovations. What do we do? Have no effects. We lose money. Nope, we're not going to do that right now. Is this army all matched out finally? It, almost. Just almost, almost. Military traditions. Heavy infantry, ship damage, Greek warfare. That is hideous. Hmm. Enables the Phalanx tactic, mercenary army, ship damage, monthly general loyalty, heavy infantry. I know we went over this once before, but I don't remember where I was going with it at all. So that's the camel route. Um, we'll just keep walking down that one. 
That is what we shall do. Sapping National Tribesman outfit. Oratory. We got some oratory power. We can use up some oratory. Uh, we convert. Let's... Miraculous recovery. Let's convert some tribesmen first. Veterans. Let's give them what we can. All right. Back. Slaves. We need to assimilate the populations we do have here so that we can keep everybody happy. It's part of why we're doing so well. Wow, that was a lot of people. death he is uh, somewhat loyal he's loyal enough he's loyal enough for the position wait a minute I'm gonna tribesman all right let's go back freeman make sure there's no freeman up here there isn't let's assimilate these guys down here Ooh. Uh, yes, I think we're going to be okay with that. Uh, loyalty, 93. Yeah, go ahead. They recruited some people. It has come to our attention that our trusted advisor, Kabash Alores, has been siphoning funds from the treasury. Of course he has. Um... There we go. Back. Citizens. Not as many of those. Back. Slaves. There. Everybody has been assimilated into our culture. We don't need to worry about the primary culture happiness. Yay! Let's make everybody happy. How are we doing now? See, we're making even more money now. Like I said, it matters. Uh, you need to... I'm gonna put you here. So this is the desert, it's hills, march there. Okay. Now that's all done. I don't know. Uh oh, we're losing our stability again. Let's get a piggy spout slaughtered. We gain 10 stability from four hearth seas grain for all visiting merchants. Or we can raise funds. Uh, let us. We'll do that. We'll seize the grain from all visiting merchants. There we go. Now our stability is going back up. Lower sacrificing to the gods. Alright. Now everybody's in positions where they're not going to suffer too poorly. Omen. Defense, religious tech investments, national slave happiness, national citizen output. Increase the population growth. Got it. All right. Alright. 
Oh no, look at that. We're finally gaining in manpower. It is awesome. Murder. Uh, we consider, um, you're fine. We consider him guilty. Always somebody killing somebody in this game. Okay, so I'm gonna probably end this video early because I can't get my son to stop talking. Okay, sorry about that. I had to pause the game for a moment. Let's see. Uh, for opinion maximums, for neighboring cultures, more trade. More trade is good. More trade is great. We still only have to worry about one ally for them. I say when this gets to, what, 10,000? I think we can, um, we should be good. All right, we need to, our corruption is getting pretty high for our itty. So let's, we said we we're going to build training camps, increase our manpower problem. In our kingdom. All right, let's do this. Ooh, auto save kicked in. There we go. A lot of training camps. We're not bringing. We don't have enough of a. Our manpower isn't increasing enough. As it stands right now, we're at 213. After these training camps will be done. All right, yeah, let's increase our diplomatic range. Training camps, so it's 213. And we are at, we'll check it on now. We're increasing to, wow, okay, so we decreased. That is interesting. We were at 213, I built training camps, and I'm now I'm at 205. That's supposed to increase manpower. Right? That is exactly what it's supposed to do. Training camp, local manpower by 10%. And now it's 205. I decreased by 13 people. That is interesting. Um, hmm. I don't even know what to make of that. I really don't. If it increases the local manpower by 10%, I should at least have a little bit better. Push space through the uh, protocol. They reduced. Well, uh, infrastructure investments are coordinated. Output will be reduced. As here is our infrastructure investments are coordinated. Huh. All my trades. I'm going to lose a lot of money once I kick this off. Oh, my lord. It's like decisions between which one do I want to take a hit from here. Sapping. We have one fort. That is fine. You should be able to. Yes, you can. Raise more. Raids larger armies. Raise away. It's cheap manpower. All right, let's get our covert actions. Fabricate a claim. Looks like we're going to get this battle in, I guess. Once we kick it off, then we shall call it a break. What do you have? You're at 10, you're at six, at 16 total we gotta deal with. It should be fine to squish it. And then 
I'm worried they're gonna call in their buddy over here, but they shouldn't. Declare war. Let's drop this real quick. Take Talia. Okay. They didn't say if they had allies, because they didn't have allies. Oh my god, we we caught them with their pants down, and I, of course, got caught with my army maintenance not being where it should be. I don't need my fort maintenance up. Wow, okay. Wait a minute. Everybody move. 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 Wow, this is gonna be great. We got super lucky. They apparently broke their alliance right before I declared war with them. Like, when I was right-clicking or something to that effect. Which means this is gonna happen a lot faster than originally expected. Uh, loyalty gain chance. Kush loses via stability. Here we go. Siege. Move the 8,000 away. Move you in. We'll do that. Control our, our attrition there. National commerce income goes up. Yeah, we're gonna we should be losing or oh, barely. Doing this. Who do, no, it was these guys. I thought it was these guys we were getting all our trade from. No, we we're getting them from yeah, yeah. Okay. That's out friggin' standing. The one thing I hate about Iron Man mode is all the damn auto saves. Move in. Yeah, I know I was defeated. It's okay. I wasn't paying attention. Why? All right, what do you have? Elephants, horse. And we have archers and... Okay, all right, so we need a count. Oh... Move in. Um, we need a counter. They have elephants and horse. Odds are they're using one of these, probably. Skirmish, or maybe even envelopment. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna bottleneck them. Put that one on bottleneck. You're fine on there. We gotta go crush their army because they smacked a couple thousand out of that group. Attach siege, move. Once this guy goes, we'll march inward. There we go. 24,000 in! Let us destroy their army. Move up. And we're gonna send these guys over too. Here we go. Now they're really gonna be hurting. Where do they walk to? They walk back a little. Um, 13,000, move up. You guys move there. Bump, 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 bump. Ba -da 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 
You're gonna try and besiege my fort, and yeah, it's not gonna work out for you, dude. Not at all. Uh oh, somebody died. You died. Now we're not having any more scorned family people. All right. We just need to besiege down this little fort here, and then we can end the war. We'll be good. We're going to take out their entire army, though. in and over well these videos keep being about 45 minutes in length and it seems like that's just going to be the way it's going to be in good hands our ongoing war has taken up most of the attention of our itty and as he leads our armies to inevitable victory we get a bunch of good points Okay, let's support religious observance. We're doing fine. Let's go ahead and do that, which is going to give us a lot of good attributes as well. The siege is won, 100% war score. Sue for peace. Take this entire province and all the money that they have in their treasury. They are done. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's increase our popularity because our aggressive expansion is non-existent after this war, pretty much. Okay, so this is where we're going to end it. I hope you guys enjoyed the Let's Play, and sorry for the uh, brief interruptions. Um, we'll do this again next week. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, uh, and on anything about how to play the game, uh, just comment down below in the section. As always, if you comment, I will name an army after you. Right now, I'm sitting at five armies to, to name. Um, so just comment down below and you'll get your name on one of these armies. As always, like and subscribe and check out my Let's Play that is currently going on on Twitch on uh, Wednesdays and Thursday mornings. Uh, as always, I will see you guys on the next one.